Some of y'all might be familiar with the Microsoft Teams UI kit. Um, this is uh, a Figma community file that folks are more than welcome to duplicate. Uh, your firm might have already done this, and it contains a set of designs that we encourage folks to use uh, as part of their app uh, because it helps create consistent experiences that look and feel like uh, Teams experiences. And they're ones we uh, hope the community will share and build more experiences that look and feel native to Teams and are familiar to users uh, and consistent. And as part of that effort, we built out a set of React components that are also open source and ready to use. So Fluent UI React Teams, it's part of the Fluent UI uh, family, is a set of open source React components um, that implement the Teams UI kit. So anything that you see in Figma under UI templates, um, such as the wizard, uh, are available in this library. And all you have to do is basically add it to your project and pull it in. I'll start getting into the details for a moment. Basically, it guarantees that it will match with the design system, that it will be accessible. It works in all of the different themes uh, in Teams. So if users have high contrast, dark or light set, the components will work out of the box with that. And it's going to continue to grow and become more useful with basically your input. Um, and I'll describe how you can offer that in a moment. What's included are basically, uh, like I said, all of the UI templates from the Teams UI kit. So that includes wizard, task boards, forms, lists, and they can be lists that are managed by the kit itself, or you can use individual tables. Uh, and then also dashboards, which include um, data visualizations. And these visualizations, again, uh, work in all themes, including high contrast for users with different visibility. That's what's included. So basically, part of what's included is described in getting started. Um, this also includes a provider which will also give you the color palette for Teams uh, in Fluent UI. And so if your app is already using Fluent UI, the provider from React Teams will also give you access to all the correct colors, the correct and most up-to-date colors for the Teams light theme, dark theme, and high contrast themes, and keep that up-to-date. Basically, to get started, all you have to do is pull in the provider and the component that you want, and when you render it, uh, basically put the component you want in the provider and go from there. The idea is each component is uh, basically all you have to do is give it a big JSON object. So if you're unfamiliar with React, this library could be really good for your case because you don't end up having to interact with React so much. You basically build out um, all of the props here it can look a bit complicated, but for some of these, it's it's quite readable. For instance, for the form, you can specify different languages or the OK and cancel buttons. You fill out uh, each of the input uh, blocks and which type of input they are. And whenever the user interacts with one of these components, you'll get an interaction payload, which is also uh, just JSON. And so in this way, you can basically interact with these interactive and usable React components without having to deal with React so much. Just want to point out, folks should be careful to use the correct types. This comes with also all of the documentation on each of the types. And so if there's ever a moment where you're not so sure uh, what's going on, all of the types are, are documented here. Definitely recommend using TypeScript if you choose to dig in. Let's see. Yeah, and it also includes the storybook, so you can always access uh, and play around with the storybook here. The knobs contain the way that this is configured and will stay up to date as you play with it. So uh, you can play with the payload here and then copy it over if you choose. And then, yeah, right. 
So uh, this project is supported mainly through GitHub. You can find the GitHub link in from its NPM page, like I did just now in the repository section here. It's going to be released in semantic versioning. So uh, any major versions are going to have a difference in API. And so if you're already using this, it's always safe to do uh, minor and patch upgrades but any major upgrades will involve an API change. I'm just uh, we're going to start documenting migrations from one major API change to another. Usually they're not super significant, but uh, we we're, we always lean on the, you know, if, if any API is broken, we make a major release. And if there's any questions or feature requests, uh, you're always welcome to file an issue. We do accept pull requests. so. If there's anything about uh, the components that you think could be better, by all means, submit an issue or and uh, maybe even create a fork of this project and make a pull request when it meets your criteria. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. And I think that's actually it for me. Excellent. Thanks. Well, really, really cool stuff. And it's it's great to see that we have those controls available. And like I said, we will keep on evolving them. We will keep on supporting them. Um, so there will be new controls available. The key objective here is to make it super easy also to create Microsoft Teams uh, look and feel, which is aligned to Microsoft Teams design guidance. So that's that's what we want to do. And, and more and more in the future, you will see uh, the design guidance is getting more and more merged uh, across the different products as well. So first of all, in the Fluent, uh, and then more and more from a control perspective as well. Um, but thanks, Will, on that one. Mm -hmm.